It is a beautiful sunny day. However, it's like 30 degrees. It's cold. I'm going to go in and work on the bike. Care to join me? Oh, hey. What's up, cats? Come on in. The one thing nice about these kits is they give you everything you need, including the tools. Well, some of the tools, anyway. But, getting them out of the package is part of the battle. That's where the utility knife comes in handy. I just cut around the shrink wrap. Make sure you get the uh, little plastic washer on there too. Well, I think I got the plastic washer in the wrong place though. It goes between the plexiglass and the, uh, yeah, so important that you get things in the right order. Everything has an order. Now you want to use some caution when you're playing around with this because you don't want to scratch your plexiglass. That's why I left the foam down here. I'm going to turn it over though. Um, and then I want this it's got some adjustments, see? These things will slide. But I want them all the way down. Give me a little more room. And then if I, you know, I can adjust it after I get it on. So we're going to do that right now. But in the meantime, I'm just going to tighten these up. I know where they're at. And be careful with your wrench. Don't want to scratch the plexiglass. Be easy to do. One little slip, and, uh, and then you got a problem. All right. The brackets are all in place on the windshield. Now I still have to put the uh, these thingies on there. Now these front brackets, and I put this one on already. They you see they're kind of off camber and there's a little hole in the end there so you have to use this alignment tool which fits right into that hole there and that's supposed to go straight frontwards so I think I got that I mean that looks like pretty much straight <laughs> frontwards there so now We'll see if we can get this one on in the same fashion. Oh, here's another weird thing. These come with two different size bolts. So, you get this long bolt, 
but they also give you a shorter one. So the shorter one is the one that I want. So I'm going to take that long one off. And we'll put that on like so. And then we'll put that one on. I can snug it up pretty good before I turn it and then okay, we'll just turn it and loosen it up just a little bit so I can turn it and get that facing forward like so and then when I get the tool over here the little pin the alignment pin and putting that in there like so, so we can get the alignment on it. Well, now the real test comes. Will this fit on there? Do I have the right brackets this time? Let's try it out and see what happens. Just snug up the last couple little bolts here. <clears throat> all clipped in, all clipped in, and look at that. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Yeah, I like that a lot. I like that windshield. I like it way better than my, I think that, I think it, it rocks. The style of it looks really, really much better than that old grandpa windshield. I like that. Yeah, that's nice. I am just thrilled. Awesome, awesome. Well, that wasn't too bad. I mean, it, it, there was some problem with the bolts. So, um, yeah, it comes with different size bolts. Now, this is the original bolt for this lower clip here. However, it wouldn't even, the threads wouldn't even start, so I had to use the old, which you'll see is just a little bit longer, and was able to get that in. But the other side, it went in like it was supposed to. So, yeah, I, I don't get that, but... But anyway, it's done. It's done, and it's looking good. One thing I learned a long time ago, <laughs> always put your tools back where they belong. And that way, next time, you'll know exactly where to find them. Well, I'm really tickled with that. Only thing is now, what do I do with my old windshield? Which... I will probably never use again. I mean, you know, you can see how scraped up that thing is. Um, sadly, <laughs> all my decals that I've collected over the years. Oh, well, maybe I can hang it up somewhere. I don't know. My walls are getting pretty filled up with stuff, but I might be able to figure out something. Hang it up somewhere. We'll see. All right, I got the shop all cleaned up. I got all my tools put away, so life is good. And I like my new, if it wasn't so freezing cold out, I'd take her for a little spin, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm good. It'll warm up, it'll warm up again, and I'll take her out. Oh, love it, man, just love it. That looks good. So, <laughs> I posted my new windshield on Facebook 
took a picture of the bike and, and put it up on Facebook and uh, man did it get the likes so I guess I got the thumbs up from everybody on that everybody seems to like my choice of windshield I wanted so bad to try it out and ride today the temperature was up around 45 overcast cold damp but uh, it wasn't raining or anything and I thought boy if I have a chance now is the day but I couldn't ride today why <laughs> I was invited to a Christmas party yeah my uh, ex-employer that I retired from with the park system there's about 30 people on that crew and those guys do a Christmas party every year I mean it's traditional we've done it we had done it every every year and they invited me to their Christmas party and boy did they put on a spread I mean it was the full turkey dinner that they smoked turkeys they they had the stuffing the dressing they had all kinds of sides to go with it salads desserts uh, it was it was a wonderful wonderful meal but more than that it was just nice to be around the uh my old co-workers again who i haven't seen for probably a couple of years now and uh they were just so courteous and and wonderful and in fact you know when the meal was ready to be served uh they insisted that i was the first one to go up to the table and get the first plate full uh i i turned them down but they wouldn't they wouldn't stand for it they insisted that i had to go up and take the first plate of food so i mean i just felt really honored today to be a part of that great group of guys and girls uh and it was a fun time they always do the christmas present game where you pull a number out of a hat and uh and then they call your number and you go up and pick a present off the pile and uh, there were some pretty good presents there but there were some you know booby presents too um, I didn't play in the game because I didn't bring anything that uh, you know I did, you're supposed to bring a gift if you want to play in the game so I just kind of sat on the sidelines but as it turns out there were some gifts left over anyways and they said go ahead you take one of those um, it was kind of a booby prize so I, I you know yeah it's it's all fun and games uh but anyway that was a good day so i ate good today putting the weight back on you know i had lost 30 pounds since probably june of this year and uh i'm i the holidays are killing me man i'm putting them right back on i've been, I've been these people have been feeding me so well <laughs> wow anyway yeah, and there's more to come because, you know, Christmas and New Year's is right around the corner and my kids have already said that they, they want me to come over there and eat with them, so, and they put on a spread too. So, it's all about that, uh, food, family, friends, you know, and I, it's, it's a good time for me to have that support because, you know, they always say that the holidays are the hardest for people when they lose somebody that they love. And, uh, you know, I just, uh, uh, a, about a week ago, uh, had a birthday for V. She didn't make it to, and now this will be the first Christmas without her. And I'll be with family, so I'm getting the support, but still... Um, it'll be difficult, you know, it'll, it'll be a new path, a new walk for me. Tomorrow, Buzz wants to take a hike, six and a half miles. That's a big one, and it's, it's going to be a rough one, uh, some, some heavy elevation. Uh, so I'm up for it, but I don't know about the weather, because it's supposed to rain. Now, you know, as I was saying, today I would have liked to test out that windshield tomorrow is even worse and then from there the temperature goes down the drain so uh i want so bad to ride that motorcycle now and uh now the weather's taking a turn on me and as soon as it snows and they start dumping salt on the road forget it i'm not taking my scooter out on the road with salt all over the roads uh 
been there, done that, not doing that again. So, uh, you know, then you got to wait till springtime, and, or at least till you get a, a couple of good heavy downpours that rinse the salt off the road before you can take it out again. All right, cats. Well, that's all I got today. Thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for the support. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe and join me on this ride. And until next time, cats, ride hard and die free.